Hello and welcome back to another episode of Engineer Likes Farming and today I'm going to measure the compression of my engine. This is a Perkins 4.248 engine. It's from the 4.236 series and I'm going to install now my pressure gauge and crank the engine so that I know if I did a good job. Okay, compression tester is installed. As you can see, this fits into the nozzle hole and can get tightened down with this bridge. There's a coupler and here's the gauge. So, let's crank the engine. Okay, we got 25 bar. Or for our, our American friends, 360 psi. That was cylinder number one. Next one will be cylinder number two. So, cylinder number two. Cylinder number two was a little bit shocking because I had no compression. Who? What is that? Bullshit. When I hold my finger over the nozzle holes and I crank the engine, there is massive air pressure coming out of these holes. I put my hand on this hole and a slight pressure or almost no pressure did come out. So, what was the problem? The problem were not adjusted valves. Because, do you hear that? This little tick noise. Every, every valve has to have a, a clearance. If this clearance is not uh, available, the valve is not properly closing. That means no compression, or almost no, almost no compression. I had five bar. I was in the first moment. I was pretty shocked, but then I I did think and put in the the logic variables, what could could be the failure, and then I tried the the rocker shaft to move on each cylinder, and this one on, on cylinder number two, it, uh, I was not able to 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 move these rockers rocker arms. So that was the problem. Another compression test. The gauge up here. No. And we got almost twenty five bar. Also okay. Now cylinder number three. And cylinder number three is hooked up to the compression tester. And also here almost or 24 bar. Let's say 24 bar. Okay, and now the last cylinder, cylinder number four. That is the cylinder which got a new liner. Okay, let's test this one. And as we can see, there is a slight difference 
we got 26 bar or 380 psi that is the difference between a new one and the old ones I guess it's acceptable acceptable performance on the other three cylinders so that makes me very perspective that the engine will fire up because compression is there I did nothing on the timing of the injection pump so therefore I guess should also not, not be a problem a timing issue I guess this engine will work will fire up so I will now remove the compression tester by the way um, it was not a very expensive one this one costs something about 40 euros something about that it consists of this gauge this hose this adapter is suitable for, for this cylinder head and a bunch of other adapters is, is also included so if someone is doing such a major engine job not a bad idea to invest in such tools good and after that I will um, run the injection pump I got here my my oil container and I will wash out the ports of the the outputs of the of the injection pump to not go, get any debris into my nozzles and then I will bleed the fuel system on the low pressure side and I will connect the high pressure hoses put in the nozzles and bleed the high pressure side well and then the engine should fire up that's the plan <laughs> we will see okay thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode